is the Emergency Medical Minute. So I've got a uh, brief medical minute about oral hydration therapy. It's something that uh, patients, uh, unless we're, uh, if we get outside of babies when adults come to the ER, you know, they usually want to like Instagram photo of them with the IV in their arm and really want that kind of like patient satisfying. You know, I was sick enough to get this. Um, with kids, we have, you know, most parents are, not, don't touch my baby, just get them better. And so it's kind of that good middle ground where oral hydration comes into to play. But, uh, yeah, a picture of a Gatorade in their hand isn't as dramatic as the IV in their arm. So, in any case, um, a little background on it. it. You know, in the early 1900s, it went through a lot of different formulations where it actually kind of fell out of favor um, because they're actually making people worse. Um, and the reason is, is you really got to have the right balance of basically sugar and sodium are, are, the, are the two things that you really need to have the right balance of. It's got to be pretty close to one-to-one. Um, the reason is in a normal person, there's different ways that we absorb things and there's a lot of kind of backups and fail-safes. As you get really sick with a gastroenteritis or in like extreme cases, cholera, these other things, and start breaking down membranes, getting really like your own electrolytes out of balance, you lose a couple of those things. So one, one way that we absorb stuff is there's a sodium-hydrogen kind of exchange thing you know, at the cellular level. Sodium and hydrogen get exchanged equally. We absorb sodium. Wherever sodium goes, water is going to follow with that. So that's how you get hydrated. Is if sodium gets absorbed, then you get some you know, water going in with that. Um, so that one is one of the mechanisms to get lost. There's an electrochemical gradient. Again, people get so dehydrated, things get out of balance that that gradient's no longer there. So again, that one's kind of out. So you're really kind of left with um, other ways that sodium gets absorbed, and that's usually with a bigger molecule like glucose. You know, glucose kind of can, you know, can go across the membranes of a cellular level. Uh, it requires sodium to do that, and then water follows along with that. So if you can have a good balance of sodium and glucose, that's the one that gets preserved, and that's why people tend to get better with that. So it was like in the 1970s, I think, in India and Pakistan is where, you know, real field practice really showed that it was a dramatic benefit. And it was like a, you know, 30% mortality in kids with cholera prior to this, and then they got a good balance of an oral rehydration solution, and it reduced it to less than 1%. Um, and so really over the years it saved like 50 million plus lives uh, of these kids in kind of between Pakistan and India. For a long time the medical community was kind of skeptical of how, you know, they thought they were kind of fudging results or not really there. And then um, the World Health Organization went out and kind of confirmed all their, all their studies were valid and real. So, you know, kind of, you know, take home point here in the ER. One is I think we all know we overutilize IVs and fluids and... Um, People maybe on this half are to blame for that, but sorry. Uh, <laughs> but, you know, there, there is some benefit, and sometimes, you know, getting patients to really comply of, you know, we need you to drink this, and some people just don't really want to. So it's a convenience factor for us as well as for them um, to give them some IV fluids. That's a whole other talk. There could be some problems with that. But uh, in any case, yeah, you know, the, you know, Pedialyte and those, those kind of things are a good balanced solution that we can have access to. The other thing we often talk about patients or we often give just on a regular basis is Gatorade. Um, it's really more like a half Gatorade, half water solution is probably a better balance than the straight up Gatorade because you get too much glucose otherwise. Um, in most of our patients, it doesn't really matter. We're not facing cholera, severe dehydration patients that we're you know, giving oral rehydration therapy to. But um, that being said, if you start to get too much glucose or too much sodium, then you're actually going to cause more diarrhea, more problems, you know, more volume losses. So you know, if somebody just goes and grabs water and salt and mixes it together and they're really significantly dehydrated, it may not be that effective for them. It may actually make things worse. Uh, but if you can get some glucose and get a relatively close balance, then that's, that's where the oral hydration is uh, very effective. So. That's it. Emergency Medical Minute is and always will be about free medical education. Medicine's most prolific podcast is successful because of our supporters, donors, and of course, our listeners. Please like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And if you support spreading free medical education, please donate at our website, emergencymedicalminute.com. As always, keep listening.